Welcome to Life Moves. I'm Saeed Mahmoud. Assalamu alaikum. I am right now in Masjid An Nabawi in Medina. On Saturday afternoon, we took a taxi from Masjid An Nabawi to Masjid Quba. It was only about a 15 minute ride, but we wanted the taxi to wait and bring us back. So we agreed to pay 80 riyals. Do you think 80 riyals was too much? What do you think is the best way to go to Quba? Let me know in the comments. We had an accident on the way back, but I will get to that in a minute. When Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam migrated to Medina, he waited at Quba for some time for some of his family and companions. At the time, this was at the outskirts of Medina. Here he started building a mosque. This was at this exact location that you can see now. This is Masjid Quba. Ibn Umar radiallahu anhu said, the Prophet sallallahu alaihi wasallam used to go to the Masjid of Quba every Saturday, walking or riding. In another narration, Prophet ﷺ said, Whoever goes out to this mosque, the mosque of Uba, and prays therein, will have a reward like that of an Umrah. Masjid Quba has an inner prayer hall and it also has a courtyard. Of course the masjid had to be rebuilt over the years and this structure is actually not very old it was built in the 20th century before this it looked like this here are some photos of the 20th century structure which had lasted hundreds of years before that on the way back our car was hit from the back by another car while we were moving at 100 kilometers per hour alhamdulillah the car didn't flip or hit anything else the driver managed to pull over and had a chat with the other driver. As our driver was a Rohingya migrant and the other one was a Saudi, I assumed there may be an imbalance of power. Our driver later said that it was the other car's fault, but he decided to let it go anyway. I asked him if the other one being a Saudi had anything to do with his decision. He said no, if he had called the police, there would be justice, but he just did not want the hassle. Anyway. We were able to safely return to Masjid Nabawi before Maghrib, Alhamdulillah. And if you uh, do like my content, please subscribe to the channel. I'll come to you for many more videos from Hajj, Makkah, Medina and also from Muslim countries around the globe. Uh, I'm traveling to see how Muslims are living in many countries and I'm bringing all of that to you on this channel. Uh, see you soon in the next video. Happy traveling.